Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna be doing the fall home tour. Okay, so starting off, I've just added some pumpkins to the front. I'm going for the neutral and aqua pumpkins, but I still want my pops of orange. So I've added those there and I've got my welcome sign. This sign I got from Kirkland's last year. The welcome sign is from Michael's. It was at Easter time I had that. So I've made a little tower there. I got this little wreath here from uh, Marshall's for $10. I painted these pumpkins that came that way. I got some of these on clearance last year at the end of the season sale. But I painted that one, that one, that one. I added a little bit of jute to the top of that one, if you can see. I just wanted it to look like a barrel of pumpkins with some greenery. Now these pumpkins will be reused at Halloween time. Remember these? You just turn it around and multi-purpose. This wreath I purchased from Home Goods and I added the orange pumpkins to it to give it a little bit of color. Velvet and lamb's ear. I just love it. Now coming into the house. Hi Ruby. Walking in, you walk straight into the entryway. We will start in the office. I've done some rearranging in here. Um, I did a lot of decluttering and organizing, so there's a lot less stuff. I've got my Buffalo Check pillow that I purchased from Amazon. It's just a cover. And then I actually have a blanket scarf in here and I've had this basket here. I just want it to be very welcoming. So over here in the bookshelves, I cleared off all the stuff up there and then I added a little pumpkin there and a pumpkin there. Over here again, I cleaned everything off and I just added some greenery over here. For the hall tree, I added the happy fall, y'all, and just did a pumpkin up there. So in here, this is the kids' playroom. And I've got my Welcome Fall from last year. I painted that pumpkin there and added a gold stem. I've got my delicious sweet pumpkin souffle candle burning. I absolutely love it. It's perfect for the season. This here I got for $3 at Salvation Army. A little lamb's ear. I painted that these are the Dollar Tree pumpkins. If you remember, I, in July I went ahead and picked up some pumpkins while I ended up painting them. I did not want the traditional colors and I love the way this turned out. That was originally green. This here is from the Target dollar spot. It was on clearance, so I got this for $2.50. There's the topiary you saw me make in one of my other videos. And a pumpkin, this is from Hobby Lobby. Again, this was purchased at the end of the season for 80% off. remember I had the window here with the um, or the wreath I took that down and put our fall uh, family photo from two years ago I put that here that was in the kids playroom but I thought this looked really nice for the fall time and then when fall is over I'm gonna be putting a mirror there I'm gonna keep the window down I'm trying to do less things in the house 
I've got these adorable white pumpkins. My friend Christina from This Frugal Wife Life gave those to me. I put some of these in here just to add little pops of blue on this vase. I thought it was really pretty. Simple. Down here, I made this pumpkin here. I just took a fat quarter from Walmart, I believe it was 98 cents, 97 cents, and just glued it on there and added this rope top. This was just an old, ugly pumpkin. I didn't want to get rid of it, so I just recovered it with the blue. Here's another angle of it. I really like how this looks. It's very simple, but it's sweet, and I like that. Um, I'm finding myself just doing better with less stuff in my house. So walking in here, this goes to that basket in the front room. There's actually three that go with it. I added a little pumpkin. I kept my yellow flowers for the fall colors. And I just love this little setup. I think it is so sweet. Now over here on the couch, I have some gray buffalo check pillows. These are new. I got these from Amazon as well, and I love them. I took the candles out of these sconces and just added some neutral pumpkins. I did the same over here. Just to give little touches of fall. Over here, we have the family is everything, and I brought that blue vase that was on the entryway table. You guys probably, if you remember, that was from my thrift store haul. I put it over here. I added the pumpkin pillow from Big Lots. That was from the Big Lot haul. I love it. I love the coppery oranges on that. I think it's so pretty. added a little pumpkin here in my succulent planner that I made. I got that from Marshall's last year. Okay, going into the kitchen, I keep it pretty simple. I have my Mrs. Meyers apple cider hand soap. I love this smell. I like the pumpkin too, but I think I like the apple cider just a little bit more, so I added that here. You guys can get that. Target or Grove Collaborative. Got my jars here with the copper scoops. I'll start back here for the table. I have the Big Lots pillow that I just think is so pretty and it matches the other one so well. This is an arrangement I put together. This was the box that you guys have probably seen if you've been with me for a while. I'm always doing something different with it. I made this box and I just filled it with some greenery and some lamb's ear, some muted pumpkins. I painted these pumpkins.
just something simple, just added a little pumpkin. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I was so excited to get this out for you guys. I love fall and I love the way everything came together. If you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I do videos like these as well as cleaning and cooking. It's a mommy lifestyle channel, so it's a little bit of everything. So make sure you subscribe. I would love to have you join me on this journey and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.